The Global Talent, or Tech Nation visa, enables the brightest and best tech talent from around the world to come and work in the UK's digital technology sector. Based on your individual skills and talents, it provides you and your family an exceptionally high level of flexibility to live, learn and lead in UK tech. Tech Nation works closely with the Home Office to endorse all applications for the digital technology branch of the visa. The application process can take up to 11 weeks in total and is completed in two stages. This is done mostly online and can be completed from anywhere in the world. Here's a look at how it works. Before you begin, you'll need to make sure you review the Home Office Immigration Rules and Tech Nation Visa Guide. These guides contain useful information, including all of the mandatory and optional criteria you must meet, along with examples of evidence that you may wish to provide. Then, when you're ready, you can begin the application process with the Stage 1 application form on the Home Office website. At this stage, you'll pay a fee of £456. Once you click Submit, you have 15 days to complete the next steps. Next, you'll be directed to the Tech Nation application form. This is where you'll provide all of your supporting evidence and a personal statement. This is a really important part of your application, so make sure you take your time with this. It's recommended that you allow at least 12 weeks to gather everything needed before starting the application. You should also ensure you read the Tech Nation Visa Guide to ensure all supporting documents are formatted correctly. Tech Nation's assessors will then assess your application for endorsement within eight weeks. Following the assessment of your application, one of two things will happen, and in both cases, you'll hear about it from the Home Office. Either you are not endorsed and will need to reapply, or you are endorsed and can move on to stage two of the application process, which Tech Nation is not involved with. If you are not endorsed, this does not mean you aren't welcome in the UK, simply that the Global Talent Visa may not be the right route for you right now. At this point, you have two options. You can reapply through the same route again, which allows you to add new evidence, but you will have to pay the fee again. Or you can apply for entry through another route. Check the gov.uk website for more information. If you are endorsed, you'll be asked to complete the Stage 2 application form on the Home Office website. This is where you'll submit your proof of endorsement, immigration documents, and let the Home Office know if you intend to relocate with your family. At this stage, you'll pay a fee of £167, plus your annual healthcare surcharge of £624. You'll need to submit your passport details, as well as anyone else's travelling with you to the Home Office to have your visa added. You may also need a proof of tuberculosis test or tests at this stage. Next, the Home Office will review your application, run a background check, and if successful, approve your documentation within three weeks. At this point, the Home Office will notify you directly with the outcome of your application. For more information, along with the answers to frequently asked questions, visit technation.io forward slash visa, where you can also read stories of successful applicants.